it's a harsh 1-2 shift, it'll also cause a harsh 5-4 shift. And it has to do with the 2-3-4-6-8 clutch applied piston and the Belleville return spring you see here on page 58. And uh, what GM did here is uh, they actually redesigned this. Now, this problem of this harsh 1-2 and 5-4 didn't happen right away. Uh, what we've seen here and what GM claims as well is that when the vehicle approaches the 25,000 mile mark on the odometer, that's when this problem starts to show up. The trans temperature has to be above 110 degrees and you've got to be at that uh, mileage, uh, more or less, uh, for this to start happening. Now, the fix for this is to replace the 23468 clutch piston and the Belleville spring. It's been redesigned and uh, we're showing this to you also on page 58 in figure 2. We also give you the part numbers for it on page 57 for both the piston and the uh, return spring. Now, obviously what GM did here is they changed the diameter of the uh, uh, Belleville spring and the di inside diameter of the uh, piston here to accommodate it. So these are not compatible with previous parts, but these parts are designed to eliminate the uh, harsh shift complaint. Now, installation. It's installed dish down like you see here. Okay, in other words, you take a bowl, you turn it upside down, in it goes. And that's uh, the correct way to uh, install this. If you flip this around, you're going to have new meaning to the word uh, harsh shift, but this is how it goes, dish down. Technicians leaving a seal out uh, inside this drum. Now you got this on page 7 of your supplement. There are actually four O-rings in here. And uh, as you can see, we're using a mirror, okay? And we're looking at the two lower O-rings here. The one next to it, there are two more above that, which we're also seeing using the mirror. So those are your four O-rings. Now this don't count the O-rings on the piston. We're not counting those seals here. Obviously those add to it. This is just in the drum itself. And as you can see, it's, it's not that hard to leave one of these out. Um, you also have to be careful here. Make sure you use the correct seal because a lot of the seals that come in this kit are very, very close in size. As a matter of fact, I believe one of these seals is actually almost, and I say almost, identical in diameter to the rotor uh, seal in the pump. So that's why I say you have to exercise care uh, when you're installing these uh, to ensure that you get the correct diameter seal in here as well as to make sure you get them all in as well. Okay? Thank you for watching. For all confirmed fix videos and unlimited technical support, become an ATSG member, your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.